Okay, what's going on, folks? This is your boy Lee Black, of course, the voice of uh, TFG Ratchet and the host of Real Talk for Real Men. Amidst the fuckery and foolishness that happens all the time, everywhere, sometimes I like to come on and talk about subjects that are serious. Where it's ratchet, but it's of more, more serious nature. On Wednesday, the House of Representatives passed what's called the Anti-Semitism Awareness Act. This is in response to a lot of the hatred that we see happening on college campuses. So if you haven't been paying attention, there's a lot of turmoil and things happening on college campuses. And frankly, it's, it's, it's turning, it's getting out of control and people don't know what to do. Well, this particular act that was passed by the House of Representatives on Wednesday, according to them, it's gonna make it easier to identify hate towards Jewish individuals and make it easier for those on college campuses to be able to identify that type of hate and to be able to prosecute it and do something about it. And so according to them, the Anti-Semitism Awareness Act is gonna make it easier for those concerned students to file civil rights complaints. Now, there's some really disturbing things in this bill. According to the bill uh, that was passed, this is some of the things they had to say. The representative said, we need to be able to, to define anti-Semitism. Uh, it goes on to talk about the fact that anti-Semitism awareness act is defining this based on the definition promulgated by the International Holocaust Remembrance Alliance when enforcing federal anti-discrimination laws. That's a lot of shit, so let's dissect this. First and foremost, this act is being passed because they want to have a clear definition of what anti-Semitic speech and actions are. And they're basing this off of an alliance group that was dealing with the Holocaust. We know where that some six million or more Jews were eradicated by Hitler. And so this group, they stand in existence for, you know, the rights and certainly the, the, the way that Jewish people are treated. Well, it says, according to these representatives, anti-Semitism is a certain perception of Jews which may be expressed as hatred towards Jews. And this is where it gets murky. When you hear, from the river to the sea, Palestine will be free, that is calling for the eradication of Jews and the state of Israel. The main representatives made that comment. He went on to say, all of our colleges have a responsibility to protect against hate and discrimination. There's a difference between speech which should be protected and harassment and violence and intimidation like a death threat. Now I'm a little bit confused here when someone makes that distinction where they get that little rhyming thing, how does that elevate to the level of hate speech? That for me is what makes it disturbing. But I'm not the only one who feels that way. According to the American Civil Liberties Union, they are strongly condemning this act because they believe that this is an attack on free speech. They actually are made a statement today by saying the House's approval of this misguided and harmful bill is a direct attack on the First Amendment. They went on to say that addressing hate towards any group is certainly worthy of dealing with it, but not at the expense of First Amendment rights and free speech. Now, I actually agree with them here. It's very interesting to me and hypocritical that we are so quick to jump on any type of negativity that's said against one group, but it's allowed, permissible, and tolerated against another group. And if you want me to spell it out even plainer, whenever we talk about Jews, there seems to be this elevated, level of panic in that this is somehow worse than when it happens to African Americans. Now, I gotta tell you folks, look around on any HBCU and even other colleges, particularly where African Americans attend, and I dare you to tell me that there aren't hateful things being said, done, and acts where we're called niggers and things like that, and I don't see any acts being passed to protect us. Now, there are those out there that's going to hear this and they're going to jump on that and say that we already have protections, the NCAA, all that NAACP. Look, folks, of course we have our own organizations, but there is not the overwhelming support 
by our state's representatives, our senators, our lawmakers that comes to the defense of African Americans like they do any other group. I agree that hate speech in general should be eradicated and dealt with, but to make a rhyme about from the river to the sea and equate that with hate speech, do you realize how many fucked up things get said to me as an African American male on a regular basis and how many things have been said to me and people who look like me my whole entire life? And there was nobody and is nobody coming to my defense, our defense, and I just think that's a level of hypocrisy that I can't stand. And I'm glad to see that the ACLU is speaking out against this because I think it is a slippery slope to be able to take anything that's negative that didn't necessarily have any hate because you're con convoluting that with the shit that's going on over in uh, the Palestine and the war that's happening in Israel. Look, folks, this is America. I'm going to be honest with you. I really don't give a fuck about what's happening in another country. We got enough problems over here to deal with on our own. The billions of dollars that we're allocating, I don't give a fuck what side you're for. Palestinians, Israel, I don't give a fuck. The truth of the matter is we have enough issues as Americans that that money could be used to address. We should be paying teachers more. We should be paying policemen more, first responders. We should be fixing our own highways and roads, using those billions of dollars to improve our school systems. Hell, there's millions of American children that go to bed hungry every night. Housing, food costs, gas prices, all of these are things that need to be addressed. So excuse me if I don't give a good fuck about what's happening in another country. And then if you want to drill it down in terms of speech and hate and shit like that, we don't talk about the, 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 the miscarriages of justice, the prejudice, the segregation, the redlining, all of the things that still exist to hold African-Americans back. And if you want to fight for any groups, we got enough individual groups to fight for right here. Trans people, women, abatted wives. Hell, we got enough problems of our own. And while we're sitting up here, our state's representatives and those that are supposed to be representing us, I just ask you to be fair. And it's amazing how you're willing to subjugate and go bypass free speech when you think it affects one group. But when another group have now if you see that same thing, they're black men being dragged, hanged, all the same horrendous, horrific shit, but no laws are being passed to eradicate that, to deal with that. We have not even been able to eradicate the groups of hate right here in America, the, the Ku Klux Klan, the skinheads, the, the good old boys, whatever the fuck you call these people that are allowed to say and do whatever the fuck they want to. If you want to put forth laws that's going to protect people, start there, motherfuckers. Anyway, I agree with the ACLU that this is a slippery slope that we're going down where we're being able to attack First Amendment rights and free speech because the reality is, last time I checked, I adhere to the simple idiom of sticks and stones break my bones, but names would never hurt me. Calling somebody a hateful name does not necessarily become tantamount to hate speech. I advise everybody to grow the fuck up and I want our lawmakers to be fair and honest and ethical and cut out the bullshit. I'm Lee Black, and these are my opinions. I hope you keep subscribing. I love to hear what you think.